Now then, YouTube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome back to some more Newport County Manager mode. We're on part 114. We've got a Johnson's Paint Trophy area quarter final today against Port Vale. We're going to be away from home, so I have a sneaking suspicion that this is going to be uh, quite a difficult one. But at least, to be honest, guys, I like this kind of match because it's a little bit of pressure off me. I don't have to worry so much about getting the result. If I don't get the result, I'm just I'm out of the cup. It's as simple as it. It would be nice to carry on, but uh, it's not like with the league. You know, if I don't get the result in the league, then uh, I, I would slip down the places and go out of automatic promotion. And that's something I do not want to happen. Um, but when it comes to a game like this, it's quite nice. It's quite a, a stressless uh, game. So we've got international duties. Um, uh, Ars Bandit's gone out. Scouting report. Oh yeah, my youth, my youth squad, my youth scoutings. Oh man, oh man, come on, I could have better than this. No, cancel. Look, I want to get rid of these because it seems to me right that the more work he has to do, the less he comes back to me with. So if I take all of them away, it'll probably come with four again next time around. So we've got tail. Uh, we've got uh, in for one as well. Man. Come on, let's be having some good good guys in here, if you don't mind, please. Reña Berrello, Boca Milenko, away versus Porte Vale. Let's go ahead and uh, and play this game then, guys. Why not? Some people are saying, oh, you know, don't do the cup matches, just simulate the cup matches. It doesn't matter about the cup. But it's nice to just have that game where I can just relax and... And not worry so much about it. Asses, Chappers, Robert, Chiave, Cresci, Hansen. That's a pretty good team, that. Oh, shit. With this bug. Ass bandit. Look, I don't care. Get off that bloody screen, man. I want to... Uh, do I want to bring... No, I don't. Do I want to bring the other guy on? Tate, actually. He's starting to go up a bit more. Is Tate. He's gone up 64 now. Uh, Cresci's on 69. He could be my first 70-rated player, or I'm, I'm sure he will be. By the end of the season, Cresci, he will be a 70-rated player. You mark my words there. Ian fucking Lawcroft is refereeing this Johnson's Paint Trophy area quarter-final game against Port Vale. Let me take a seat. Let's get ready for the game. Is Hansen, who's been on good form recently, is he ready for this? <laughs> Hanson, are you ready for this? I don't know. Is he ready for it? Let's find out. We have got uh, kick off. Crush it. Chapman. Atkinson. To hit. Oh, that's a lovely ball through towards Hanson now. He's got the space. He's whipped it. He's tried for a shot, but uh, it's come off a uh, defender for a corner. And I'll take them every day because I've got people who can head the ball in just like that. Hanson off the underside of the bar. So close. And Shavi with a long shot. It's gone out for another corner. Corner kick given. And Atkinson's there, but unfortunately he was trying to grapple with that bloke and not get anything on that, I'm afraid. Xavi. Silver de Souza. Down the wing now. Robert. Tate. Tate. Baldy. Baldy man. No, look at that. I asked him to do something. Totally fucked it up. Tate whips it in now. Hansen's free. And that is 1-0. Hansen loves to get in between those defenders when he's heading that ball. And I'll tell you something, he does it really, really well. Nobody knows, you know, which, which defender knows who to pick that guy up. Nobody knows. And in the end, nobody does. And he's just stood there in the middle of them both. Tate did very well to get that ball back. And a lovely ball in as well it was. Right on his head and into the back of the net for 1 0 already, and it's another headed goal from, Jamie Han uh, from James Hansen. Well, they've been, uh, I have a friend who's called uh, Jamie Hansen, so it's like, oh no. I keep saying Jamie Hansen, it's not. Atkinson. Xavi. Good ball over the top towards. Why is Silva de Souza? Can I ask why, why is this? I'm, I'm pressing like full on sprint here, and look what happens. Full on sprint. 
Why is the guy, why is he stopping? Like, constantly. There, he stopped. There. And then he's, well, oh, he's grappling there, I suppose. You can let him off for that one. Well, you have to play it the way you're facing uh, sometimes. Even uh, you're oh, facing I never even jumped for it. It's poor. How the hell? Oh, no. No, I'm not having this. Tate's there. Boots it out. Got no real other option there. And Hansen's running for this. He's going to reach it as well, you know. Hansen, ball in towards Xavi. Crash it. Went for the volley, unfortunately. Not enough power on that. The keeper was off his line for a split second, but I think that uh, by the time that Xavi hit that, Crash uh, hit that shot, he was back on his line. Ball through towards Hansen. Xavi trying to get in there and then just ends up on his on, on his ass, and uh, apparently wins a free kick for that. That's weird. Oh, is that their free kick? No, it is actually my free kick. I don't know why. Atkinson with a bit of space. Look at the power on that shot. He's got a good, powerful shot. Let's have a look at his powerful shot, actually. I want to see. Um, it seems to have a good, powerful shot, but what is his actual shot power? 62. Interesting. Unless it's his long shot stat. Do they class it as his long shot stat? I don't know. Long shot. So only 44. No wonder he can't score from a long, long shot. But he seems to have a... A powerful shot. Don't, don't know why. Tomlin, trying to get this is Chappers back. winning the ball back. Oh, that was added an overhead through ball there. Uh, Hansen's won it. Shavit, who can hit that from range, but unfortunately just couldn't get it out from his feet. And then the eventual shot dribbled towards the keeper rather than flew. Here's Chapman. That's it, Atkinson. Silva de Souza. Crash it. Silva de Souza again. One touch in towards Hansen. Unfortunately, there's magic clearance. The interceptor has got the ball here. Chapman. And hits it. He's engineered a bit of space. Atlas Chappers. Got the shot off. It was a good shot. It was on target. But the keeper was in the right place to deal with it. Still only 1-0, but we're certainly knocking on this door, I tell you. Totally bossing midfield with all of the numbers that we've got. Chapman. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. One touch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and another headed call from Hansen. Oh, man, by this guy, seriously. 20 goals in all competitions. It's only fucking November. And he tried... Let's have a look at this. The opposition tried one of those ridiculously... Ridiculous clearances. I mean, look at this. You don't do that type of clearance when there's a person right on your crack heart. And Hansen just climbs over the top of him, says, thank you very much. Goalkeeper stood stock still, not even wanting to jump for that. Really solid header. 2-0. Doing very well so far. And you can tell, you know, it's a lot more relaxing is playing in the cup. Because there's no there's no expectation on me to uh, to perform. There's no expectation on me to get promoted or you know it, I could get sacked if I don't win the cup or anything like that. It's nothing like that. It's just uh, pure enjoyment for me. Atkinson. Tremendous understanding from these players. Passed it. He himself here. There wasn't much cover, but he got the ball, the defender, in the wide position. Lopez giving the ball over towards Tate now. Gives it away. Does, uh, what's his face? We'll and it's headed back to the keeper. It's a nice and easy, easy gathering for Kerverston. That's not a good pass, is it, really? keeping him entertained or at least trying to keep him entertained how is my defender not winning that ball I really don't know physicality there 
you know, shoulder to shoulder against this guy. Look at how big Luma de Castro is in comparison. Really, that shouldn't be any kind of competition there. Oh, that's straight at him. That was literally straight at him. Nothing I could do as it selected the other guy rather than the guy that was stood in front of him. And it's 2-1. Jones has brought one back. Fantastic goal, this one. It didn't select the guy that was in front of him. And uh, I think, you know, in the end, that's what cost me there for that one. Cresci. Silva de Souza. Hansen. Great ball towards Cresci now. There's nobody in there, though. He's going to have to make... Oh, what the hell was that? What a miraculous... It's always miraculous, guys, when they just go ahead and whack it upfield and it just so happens to land at the, the, their only guy that's up there. There it is. Oh, yes. Hansen on his left foot, his, most, his strongest one as well. It was a good wrong-handed save from the goalkeeper, but it was pretty far out. He had all the time in the world to get a hand on to that. Pushed it out for another corner, though. And I think we're the last team that you want to give a corner to. Look at that, you see? Miraculous clearance. Just so happens to drop to the only guy that's on there, uh, up there for them. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Asses Chappers. Rivera. Ball in towards oh, Hansen. I don't think he's going to score a, a header from just outside the box like that. It's very rare that that happens. Oh, what a surprise that he's dodged that. And it switched players when it wasn't even in the air. Kerverston. I did pass that, if that if you class that as a pass. But anyway, two goals for Hansen and uh, one goal for Jones. Um, means that it's 2-1 at half-time. It could all still be in it at the moment. Anybody could uh, anybody could win this game. Well, look at that. You see, This is what I mean about unrealistics. People were saying to me, tough man, the computer are getting like three shots. That's unrealistic. It's not. It really isn't unrealistic. What's unrealistic is they have one shot, one on target, and one goal. And it seems to be like that. You know, pretty much all the time, but uh, not recently, actually. Not recently, it hasn't been. They've uh, they've been struggling for goals of the computer, even when they've been getting on some on target, which is uh, go, all goes credit to my uh, goalkeeper for that, Atkinson. Crush it, beating his man, and then that it winds me the hell up. Yet the computer, when they're under pressure, they can do fucking spot-on challenges, tackles, shots, and that is a bad pass. Crash can you keep this in? Only just. And then it just so happens that this guy gets a standing challenge in and is miraculously kept in as well at the same time. Crash first time. That's his chap is winning that ball. It's a good ball, that. Little ball over the top. Be cut out by the, the uh, defender there. What is my defender doing, Lima de Castro? But he's got the ball. Robert, wrong person. Atkinson. No, stop. That's it. Good boy. Ah, oh, come on. It's like they really do expect it, don't they? Oh, that's a lovely ball now, Cresci. Whipped in towards Hansen and him winning a header and not getting one on target is probably the talking point of this game. Won the header, floated over the top. It's out for a goal kick. Not even forced to save from the keeper. 
That being said, still in the lead and we're still going for it at the moment. Silva de Souza. My second half passing always seems to be a lot worse than my first. Robert. He's got past his man. Well, you would think he would have got past his man, but that's a good ball in. Straight to the keeper, though. Too close to him in the end. That's us chappers. Oh, come on now. That was a foul. Pulling me out of the fucking way of the ball. Robert. Atkinson. Xavi. Not passing the ball when I ask him to. Instead, just wandering around with it as at his feet. Atkinson. Oh, that is a bad pass. With his favoured foot as well, but Robert's picked it back up. Oh, and then the, the last touch to bring it inside. Too much on it. He slowed down and allowed the guy just to get back on him. Ball towards uh, Silva de Souza. Xavi. Good movement by his teammate. Into and Tate's got space now. Plenty of it as well. Ball in. Hansen's there. It's three. Off the underside of the bar. A hat trick of headers for James Hansen. Off the underside of the bar as well. This guy is an absolute beast. He really is an absolute beast. And it gives me that little bit of breathing space so I can just relax again a little bit more. And hopefully we can get through to the area semi-final of the Johnson's Paint Trophy Cup and try to... Uh, hey! Yeah, and try to, uh, you know, just defend a, a, a title that we had a couple of years back. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Since we did a piss-poor job of it last season. Oh, man, the pass. Quite congested midfield, but good passing from this team. It's going to be a substitution here for the home side. It's a good ball, that. Especially when you see who I've got in the middle there, look. Oh, Robert goes for the shot and then fucks it up. Nothing on it. Boots it upfield. Xavi. Pressure back to Xavi again. No, that's not where I was aiming. I was aiming towards fucking Atkinson with that. Oh, my God, man. Luckily, his first touch was a bad one. And I managed to grab it back. And we have nine remaining minutes. Hansen. Towards Xavi, but he's too busy trying to fill people's asses rather than actually getting on with the, the job at hand here. And Hansen. Done the fake shot. So how many fucking blocks is going to be in there? But it was a close one for four. It was. Oh, what the hell, man. Lima de Castro doing very well there to push him off the ball. Robert. Xavi. What a ball from Xavi that was. Great takedown from Robert as well. Lovely ball over the top. Oh, he tried the cheeky chip. And uh, I thought it might have dropped down. But this was a lovely effort from uh, from Hansen. Tried a cheeky little chip over the top of the keeper, but batted out for a corner. And uh, it could still be a dangerous position, though, for me. Because I like my corners. Nobody's there for Lima de Castro. But I think it was a bit too far out of goal to get enough power on that for it to go in. Oh, my God. That's us chappers. Crashy. Atkinson. Oh, what the hell was that, Atkinson? I want better than that. They've won it very well forward. 
Oh, I was going to score there, and I'm going to get four. Fucking Ian, fucking Lowcroft. A hat-trick of headers is uh, what put Newport County into the semi-finals of the, uh, well, area semi-finals of the Johnson's Paint Trophy Cup. So, well, we're doing very, very well so far. Hansen, especially coming into a rich vein of form, just seems to score with every single touch that he makes. And uh, that pretty much covers it for this episode, guys. Look at that. Total control. Total control again. We deserve to be in the championship. We've got a championship quality side. I know that for a fact. Especially with all these, you know, what are going to be. By the end of this season, guys, these are going to be high-rated 60-odd players. And uh, I believe we've got a championship quality squad there. And uh, James Hansen just keeps going from strength to strength. Absolutely just owning all opposition with his heading ability, his strength and his power in the box. It's just absolutely fantastic. So we're through to the area semi-finals, guys. And I'll see you next time. Until then, I've been the Tough Man. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, stay safe.